I think that the, the, one of the biggest issues that the industry is facing is what's the metric that they're using to gauge the effectiveness of the advertising. And to date, it's been the click. And maybe that worked when click rates were running uh, at 2 or 3 percent, but they now dropped to 0.1 percent. And so I think that one would be crazy if one were a publisher to take that metric and use it with an advertiser as evidence of what advertising is doing. Um, so we've got to move to different metrics and it's pretty clear that whether the ad is clicked on or not doesn't determine whether the advertising has been effective. And that's true of, been true of traditional media all along. We don't expect TV to generate immediate response or radio or print. So why would we expect that um, of, it, of the internet? I think the reason is because we can measure it on the internet. And so early in the, uh, in the days of online advertising, somebody said, well, we can measure the click, let's measure it. And it probably wasn't an advertising guy. It was probably a technical person, in my opinion. And so now we've got to get, I think, out of that uh, situation and realize that advertising has a latent impact. It works over time. Multiple impressions are needed. And you've also got to measure the offline impact of, our, of advertising. What we do within our particular um, uh, capabilities is that we have a panel of uh, two million people. We can track their behavior over time, and so we can see if somebody's been exposed to an ad, even if they didn't click on it, did their behavior change subsequently over time? We can link it to what they did offline and answer the question, did we get a behavioral change? Did we increase sales even though the ad wasn't clicked on? So the capability and the techniques that are available, I think the industry just has got to understand the problems with the click and I think that now that we're in tough challenging times with advertising everywhere, my prediction would be now it'll get some attention and we'll move to the right metrics. The advertisers and the publishers are trying to find out is where do we best place the ads in that streaming video? Should it be pre-roll? Should it be post-roll? Should there be an ad while the content is running, etc.? And I'm not sure that anybody yet has the answer. Um, I can tell you that based upon the research that Comscore has done, uh, ads in, uh, in, in online video, irrespective of where you place it, um, has a big impact on consumer behavior. Using our um, particular approach, we're able to track the people who saw an online video ad, compare them to a control group of people who didn't, and then track their behavior. Did they visit a particular site more? Did they conduct a trademark search? Did they buy product more online or offline? And I think those are the behavioral metrics that one needs. Again, not the click. You can get lifts of buying that are anywhere from 20% to 40% or even higher. So in other words, the people that have been exposed to the ad, and actually this is true whether, uh, you know, certainly the, the lifts seem to be higher with video, but even with uh, rich media ads um, uh, online, you would get, we're seeing lifts of up to 40% or even higher uh, in terms of incremental buying.